What is up everybody? Welcome to LasmoCast. Today we are out in beautiful Pinedale, Arizona. We are looking at some Cretaceous age fossils, or we're looking for some Cretaceous age fossils from a, what I believe is an undescribed locality or an undescribed formation dating back to, I think around the late Cenomanian. So there's some ammonites known from here. And there's also what's interesting too, is some Cretaceous age petrified wood. You know me, I'm into the shark stuff, the Chondrichthians, but you know, we're here looking for anything. Who knows, maybe there's even dinosaur stuff. Never know. Good afternoon, fellow explorers. Welcome to ZDig TV. I'm Doug Wolf, and we're out here today with members of the Southwest Paleontological Society in the uh, Pinedale area, what we call the Eastern Mogollon Rim, where we know we have Cretaceous rocks, but they are not well studied in this area. And so in my hand here, I'm holding a chunk of limestone or sandy limestone that has many, many different types of fossils in it. Now this one's kind of interesting because we had a massive famous historical forest fire that came through here. In a lot of cases, it just baked these cliffs. And so this has actually been turned red here because of the uh, temperature of the fire annealing the clay, basically like, uh, like firing a pot, basically. Now behind me, you see this blob here. This is what we call a concretion. And concretions are the product of geochemical processes that start to create cement basically very early in the depositional process now in this case we are right on the ancient coastline here and so we have a bunch of shallow water clams oysters there's coal in this formation there's tons of fossil wood so the combination of this many seashells and a ton of fossil wood and trees and stuff tells us that we are right on the beach here or maybe just a little bit inland so we would have swamps forests and certainly dinosaurs now these rocks are equivalent to the rocks that we study in the Zuni Plateau. They're the same age. And we know that because we're finding the same types of seashells, and most particularly some ammonites, that tell us exactly the age of these rocks. Part of this is equivalent to the marine part, or what we call the Dakota Mancos Formation in New Mexico. But part of it may be equivalent to the Moreno Hill Formation. And we are so close to the coastline here, we could find a dinosaur anywhere around here. The big challenge is that we have a lot of cover, we have a lot of trees. This is one of the better exposures in the area. And the other thing that's really cool about this area is it is famously a home for Native Americans. And so all day long as we've been coming up here, we've been finding pieces of pottery, lithics, little fragments of tools that have been made. Um, we don't pick these things up and take them. We take pictures of them and we note them. But there is a very interesting association all the way up to Chaco Canyon where I've worked between what I consider Native American interest in these seashells and where they put some of their pueblos and structures. For one thing, it seems to make pretty decent building material, but it's also incorporated in their mythology. And that's something we'll talk about another day. So, so far, found some really good chunks of petrified wood already. Some of them have some really nice crystallization patterns. Found this interesting mineral right there. If you guys know anything about minerals, let us know in the comments what you think that is. And here's this nice limestone chunk which has some invertebrate fossils, lots of shells. Yeah, so this is off to a promising start so far. And it's interesting too that there's all this petrified wood mixed in with some marine fossils like the shells, um, ammonites are known from here. It's a really cool place. My first time exploring this area. Yeah, that's another nice piece of petrified wood. What is your dream find for today? An Allosaurus. An Allosaurus? Mm -hmm. Super, super rare and late Cretaceous Allosaurus. <laughs> Exactly, last one of his kind. <laughs> <laughs>
Check out this really colorful piece. That's pretty. So looking at these chunks of sandstone, you can see all of these bivalve parts, not super well preserved. Yeah, but there's, there's a bunch over here that... Yeah. There, yeah, there's one right there. Let's try and... What do you find? I think that's a little piece of petrified wood, maybe. Here are some more bivalve bits and other pieces in this rock. Same there. Bivalve imprint right there. It's a bunch of stuff, but haven't come across anything screaming sharky yet. So we are on this trip with the Southwest Paleontological Society. And, and yeah, definitely, definitely join your local paleontology clubs because they give you access to some really cool trips such as this one. You know, it's, it's really good as well to connect with other people that share the interests of paleontology. Highly recommend. Petrified wood. Look at this cluster of petrified wood all over here. That's awesome. Still no vertebrates yet, but you know, fossils are fossils. Okay. So we found a nice oyster bed over here. So there's tons of bivalve stuff and all that. And around this area, I found this really cool Really cool shell. Look at that. And there's one over, where was it? I think it's over here. There's another one right there as well. What do you find? Look at this. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, but it's just a uh, pump. That is cool. Yeah, it's just falling apart. Yeah. Some of the stuff is real. There's a shell oh, right it's there. Down there. What's what? That on there. This? Yes. I think it's like a moss type of thing. This is from that shell right here. Yeah. There's I'm blanking on the rock. It looks like some sort of quartzy thing. What are those things are carrying? I think some of them have wings. Wings? Yeah. Ooh. What the heck? Yeah, okay. some of them look like they have wings. I'm putting it back. I found a whole new species of ants. They're evolving. <laughs> Imagine ants flying. That would be horrendous. It looks like those ones can. What should we name the ant species principle? Titano ants. Titano ants? What's That's that? a cool looking. It looks like poop. That's crystals. It looks like poop. Poop crystals. Well, we're keeping this. We're not keeping poop this way. All right, so at that first site, we found a good bit of um, shelled organism fossils. We found a ton of petrified wood, but nothing in terms of sharks yet. So here we're at another site around Pinesdale, Arizona, and this will also be that same undifferentiated Cretaceous rocks. 
So there should be some sandstone fossils. I have heard, ooh, cactus. Mm. <laughs> I heard, I have heard of ammonites around this area too. So yeah, let's see, let's see if we can pull out anything. So as you can hopefully see over here, it's tons of little shell bits. Oh, that's a pretty feather. There's a piece of what looks like petrified wood. What do you find? I don't know. Let's see. Well, it's definitely something. I think it's a shell bit of some sort. more shell bits. Ooh, this is cool. Michelle. Look at that. Gar scales wouldn't have serrations, would they? They have skull shrouds sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Um, I, I, yeah right there. I, I tend to agree with you, it's probably some kind of too. Ah. I mean, it's possible it's Squalacorax. Mm -hmm. Because right there. <laughs> Thank you. I found a tooth. Our dig shite. So we just got to the main fossil bed layer here, and I just found this. It's not a fossil, but it's actually an artifact. Now, because in Arizona, you can't take these things, we're gonna leave it behind, but it's still a cool document. This is apparently a Puebloan artifact. This is a piece of pottery dating back to around 1200 years old. It's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool. Oh, we can't take it. Yep. I think that was my first artifact I've ever found. Okay, this is Michelle, not Ben. I apparently found two big bivalves and boom. Here's a bivalve. You're not Michelle. <laughs> it's good. But a reference finger. <laughs> What did you say they were? Bivalve. But what are they? So it's like a shell. It's a shell organism. Mm -hmm. Yep, bivalves are still alive today, albeit probably not the species, but still. Interesting. So Here. this. Can you spot me? Let us know in the comments if you see anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's a problem. Galore. Who stole my shadow testing? Okay. Oh, bring it for reference. What happened to your hand? I cut myself with a pen. Oh wow! Look oh, at that petrified George. wood. There's little crystals in it. Wow. Some more petrified wood for you. Nice shell. Okay. But then what's really interesting is. Like, I did. <gasps> that is a tooth, Benzibo. Let's see. 
Here, let's. You bag mm. these up. I'm gonna pick up two. Saying, look, so that's yeah. that's so cool. All right, you ready, to start? A shark tooth. That is a little Finally. shark tooth. <laughs> oh my god, two days with nothing. Well, I found one tooth yesterday, but this is. Well, not for sure. Yeah, well, that one we'll have to look through the microscope, but this is definitively a tooth. Let's see, based on the striations and the cusp structure. This is possibly a scapinorhynchus, which is a relative of the goblin sharks. But it's difficult to say because of the condition on it. But yeah, that's, that's freaking cool. <laughs>